Welcome back to Teleview's Virtual Neaf Booth. I'm David Nagler, president of Teleview Optics, and we're here answering our blog readers' questions as if we were at our booth at the Real Neaf. Bill from Warwick asks about our various eye guard designs on our eyepieces. And Bill, we basically have two types. We have a threaded type, which are on our 41 panoptic and 55 plossal. And then we have a sliding type, like on our Type 4 Naglers, our Delos, and our Delight series. Now the first type, the threaded type, on the 41 panoptic and the 55 plossal, we've designed because both of these eyepieces have really extended eye relief. So the eye lens, while it's recessed, still gives plenty of room for an eyeglass wearer to, uh, to see the full field of view. But for those who don't wear glasses with this type of eye guard, the top simply unscrews and you can thread it to the proper height. Now if you want to lock that, you could just note the height, unscrew the top, and there's a lock ring. This lock ring you can thread to the desired height and then thread the eye guard back down on the eyepiece and now it will be set at that height. The next type is the sliding type, of which we have two. On the Nagler Type 4s, we have the click stop. This just simply slides up and down, and you can hear the notable clicks for the detented stops along the way. And like any eye guard of this type, you would want to adjust it by if you don't wear glasses, by pulling the eye guard all the way up, putting your eye up to it, and then clicking down until you see the full field of view. Once you see the full field of view with your peripheral vision, you just simply leave it there. The next type we've developed is the uh, uh, twist lock type, it's a sliding eye guard, but it actually locks in place where there's no solid lock for the Instajust. It just simply goes up and down. With this type, we can lock it. This is on the Delos and Delight series. And the way you use this adjustable eye guard, just like I showed you on the click stop, um, is you want to start with it all the way up and then push it down until you see the full field and then lock, you can lock it in place. So the way this works is when you have your eyepiece locked in the telescope, you have two barrels, you just hold one in one hand, one in the other, loosen the top, you can slide it all the way up, just as we did in the other one. You slide it down until you see the full field and then simply lock it in place. Now we have these markings on the side of the eyepiece to indicate your height so that if you store it down, you could just quickly bring it back to where it was, or you can simply just leave it in place because as you see, with it locked, it's not going anywhere. 